In this video, I'm going to use Cisco Genie to take a snapshot of uh, BGP and OSPF states before making a change on the network and after making a change on the network and then do a diff. Genie is a free product and it's uh, available to download from PIP. So this is what my topology looks like. So, and I will be configuring R15 and 16. And if we open a console connection to R15 and do a show run section BGP or section OSPF, we can see there is nothing configured. And same on R16. So show run section BGP and router OSPF and we don't have anything configured. So I have a Python script which I am using to create a testbed file which Genie needs with all the device information, how it needs to connect to the device with the credentials and connections. So we can see here I don't have a testbed file. I will run this script and this will generate a testbed file. Okay, we, this is the file it's created and this is what the file looks like. So it's got all the connection details, IP address and ports, and Telnet connection to connect to all the devices in EVNG. So next I'll go to my shell and use Genie to collect the information. So I'll use Genie, learn, OSPF. I will leave the interface because that will be too much information collected. So I'll remove the interface and leave BGP. So Genie learn OSPF BGP. I will give it the testbed file name, which I have just created. So it will be, I just need to rename the file, this file. And then we need to say output to a directory where all the files will be saved. So it will create the output directory in the local folder where Genie is being run. And if I run this command, so Genie has gone into learning state first where it will connect to the devices on the console and just run some initial commands to check the connections. So as Genie is connecting, all these files will start popping up in that initial directory. And if I open one of the files, we can see that these are the initial commands. Terminal length zero, terminal width zero, and show version. So just to check that Genie is able to connect to the devices. So once it's able to connect to the device, it will it will start connect collecting the OSPF information, and then it will collect BGP information. So as we can see, the OSPF files have started popping up. So it will take some time for these files to populate with the information Genie is collecting. So all these files will be in the initial directory. So I will go ahead and um, speed up this video or pause the video just to make it a bit quicker. So now Genie has uh, finished collecting all the information and it 
gives us the summary of all the devices and the directory path and the files it's connect collected and we can see all these files here and if we open one of the files so let's say r15 where i will be making the change we can see that bgp is not active so i can see bgp is not active and same on r16 there is no bgp running So I will again pause this video and finish the configuration on R15, 16 and then take a snapshot afterwards. So I've finished configuring R5, R6, R15 and R16 because I needed um, R5 and R6 configuring for BGP. So I'll go ahead and um, take another snapshot with um, so I'll name the directory as modified and now Genie will go through again the same process it will connect to the devices and then it will um, collect the information so it will run a bunch of show commands on all the devices in the testbed file and then collect all that information and um, put it in the modified directory. So again, I'll speed up this video so it finishes quicker. Otherwise it takes about three, three to four minutes. So Genie has uh, finished collecting all the information in the modified directory and we can see all these files. So next I'll go ahead and um, I'll use Genie diff command to, um, to do a diff on the initial and the modified directories. So once I run this command, Genie will show me a diff of what which files are changed. And I can see all these files are showing identical. And the first one it shows is R6, R5, R16, and R5 and R15. So it's showing all the files where the changes have been made. So BGP and OSPF. So if I close these folders, um, well I can see these are the diff files which Genie has created. So there are diff files for OSPF and BGP. So this one is for R5 BGP and it's showing me different states, what changed and what was the previous state and what was the new state and what config has been added. It's more of a diff on state rather than um, diff on uh, a config file. 